Elite Lupa, how are you doing? SHUT UP! You know why I'm here. After the torture I endured last video, I've realized that you can no longer live. Time to die! Wait, Lupa, haven't you ever thought about reading a good webtoon? Good webtoon? Like what? Please tell me, like what? Lookism. Try Lookism. <sighs> Alright, fine, I'll give Lookism a try. Cool, so you'll spare me. Wait. Where did you go? Alright, so the day has come where I read a webtoon that I've mainly heard good things from. And I'm sure that this webtoon has people who don't like it, but no matter how liked you are, you cannot win everyone. Anyways, all I know about Lookism is it's basically the male version of True Beauty, and no surprise, it's the better version. Anyways, you guys know how these videos go, 10 episodes, let's get into this. We start off this webtoon with these full-grown adults that are supposed to be kids smoking in a bathroom. The big guy is named Logan, and he scares our protagonist to pretend to be animals and Pikachu for some reason. Apparently this guy's name is Daniel, and he's bullied ruthlessly every day with no one to help him. When he gets home, he begs his mother to transfer him to a new school, not telling her why he wants to transfer. When his mother tells him he can't transfer, Daniel, with all of his pent-up anger, snaps at his mom. The next day comes and the same old bullying act happens all over again. We see his mom actually trying to transfer him, but due to poor grades, Daniel can't transfer. Daniel is forced to be a punching bag for these guys that want to hit him with a soccer ball for some reason. Bro, what do these guys get off of bullying Daniel? Shoot, they're lucky this is Korea, not America, because... Eventually, after being beat up for no reason, his mom comes out of nowhere to save her son. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about! She's about to completely pulverize these bullies into oblivion! His mom is about to rip and tear his bullies, but out of embarrassment that his mom has to save the day, he snaps at his mother. And while it may seem like Daniel's a terrible person right now, this does tend to happen to victims of bullying. I'm not exactly sure how to explain it, but these victims would much rather want help from their peers than the adults. It's not something that can be very well understood, but getting help from a teacher or your parents when it comes to bullying just feels embarrassing. I, I don't know why. And that's what's happening with Daniel here. As we can see earlier, he feels happy when sympathy comes from a peer. However, he feels it would be embarrassing to talk about his bullying to the person who would care about it the most. And if he went up to a teacher, chances are the bullies are going to come back infinitely worse. After he gets back home, his mother tells him to go transfer, revealing that she knew about his being bullied the whole time and she truly wants the best for him. After getting himself situated in his new home, he decides he's going to change with the first step being a haircut. Hey man, haircuts are unbelievably dope. They can completely boost your confidence. Ah! 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 Take him out now! Unfortunately for Daniel, he really doesn't realize how badly his barber messed up, but at least he's more confident. Oh, nah, bro, please don't try and rizz up a girl. You're not there yet, man. Her boyfriend comes out of nowhere and decides to spare him after intimidating him. Alright man, it happens to the best of us, but just go about your day and w where are you going? Please bro, that guy clearly has a short temper, don't engage, and he's getting beaten to death. Look, he definitely doesn't deserve this, but bro is just going out of his way to getting beat. Daniel goes home and is absolutely devastated that basically nothing changed despite the fact that he moved away. He wakes up in the middle of the night to go use the bathroom and somehow he's a completely different person. After freaking out for a bit, he goes back to where he sleeps to find himself sleeping. I'm not sure how this works, but I'm assuming Daniel just wished himself into becoming handsome. So let me try the same thing. Alright, I wish to become unbelievably handsome, like my idol, Annoying Orange. Oh my goodness. Uh, I'm changing. It's happening. Hey Chalupa. Have you seen my wallet? Yeah! Huh? What's his deal? Oh, no! 
Daniel tries to wake himself up, eventually resorting to slapping himself. He wakes up and initially assumes the whole thing was a dream, but quickly realizes that isn't the case. He tries waking up his other body, and he eventually realizes something. When he wakes up one body, he wakes up in said body, and the body he was in previously goes to sleep. He also needs to take care of both bodies, they still need to use the bathroom and eat. Realizing the opportunity he has here, he goes to school in the much more handsome body. And basically everyone in the school is gawking at his beauty, but he's still worried about being bullied? Bro, do not worry. In that body, you are HIM. If someone tries to bully you, there will be fatal consequences. Daniel is introduced to his new class, and just like before, everyone is taken aback at his beauty. He tries to greet the person sitting next to him with a smile, but coincidentally, it's the guy who beat him up the other day. Daniel is quite literally doing nothing, and he is rising up everyone at the school, even Homeboy's girlfriend. During lunch, he's approached by these guys who tell him to come see them after lunch. He goes to see them, expecting the worst, however they actually want to share cigarettes with him. Daniel, being the absolute chad he is, refuses the cigarette and walks away. Good choice, Daniel. You shouldn't smoke, lest you want your lungs to be completely useless. Unfortunately for Daniel, he falls asleep due to not getting much sleep in that body. Back in his fat body, he freaks out trying to go back to sleep so he ends up back in his chad bod. Fortunately, this girl wakes him up, but for some reason, everyone's surprised that he woke up startled? Well, how do you want him to wake up? Is he bro supposed to be on Chad mode 24-7? Daniel manages to get a job for his fat body during the night, and he's got a schedule figured out for both of his bodies. He's chilling on the job, when all of a sudden his classmates walk in demanding some cigarettes. He refuses to sell them some since they're underage and they're about to give up, but then this guy shows up. After recognizing Daniel, he proceeds to intimidate him into giving him some alcohol. Daniel refuses, and since this guy is very quick to anger, he goes into demon mode. And to ensure Daniel doesn't tell anyone, they blackmail him. Man, it would be a shame for these guys if someone just happened to snitch. Man, today is such a good day. I wonder how I can make the world more miserable. Hey, what's that noise? Daniel goes back to school the next day, and he realizes that these guys are making fun of his fat body, which gets him angry. Yes, finally! Daniel's gonna show these guys why bullying is a bad thing to do, and you shouldn't do it. Or, you know, he could always beat them to death. These guys are bragging about Zack beating up a guy who was clearly weaker than him. As it turns out, this girl isn't his girlfriend and is just someone he has a crush on. Eventually, these guys start insulting Daniel's mom, and that's where Daniel draws the line. He tells them that they've gone too far, and Zack immediately challenges him to a fight. Yo, I gotta ask, where are the teachers? Like the moment quite literally anything is happening, they just fade out of existence. Daniel is nervous since he's never really gotten into a fight before and has just been getting beaten. Just as Zack is about to throw a punch, he's stopped by the blonde hair guy. He gets out of his grip and tries to punch Daniel, but Daniel realizes he's the main character and dodges the punch. Zack's life flashes before his eyes, a life filled with people saying how fast he is. He cannot comprehend that someone is actually faster than him. He tries sending a barrage of punches to no avail. He tries a sneaky sneak attack to no avail. And then he- Ah, you guys get the picture. Daniel destroys him with no difficulty. The blonde kid who's named Jay overhears these three guys wanting to jump Daniel, but he kindly asks them not to do that. Also, after the fight, word goes around that Daniel is HIM! Daniel goes back to work in his fat body, and as he's working, he notices all the customers are judging him based on his looks. And this is a sad truth about society. We judge people based on how they look instead of the content of their characters. Guys, remember, treat everyone with kindness regardless of their appearance. Unless they look like this. 
Daniel decides he's gonna try and lose some weight in his fat body, and this girl walks into the store. Daniel thinks she's gonna judge the crap out of him, but she's actually nice and completely understanding. A lot of people say they wish there were more nice people like that in the world, but in reality, we have to be said people. We can't expect the rest of society to be kind to us while we don't reciprocate said kindness. In order for us to grow as a society, we must help each other out and treat everyone with kindness. And yet here you are making videos hating on webtoons. The bully group are frustrated at the thought of Jay beating the crap out of them, and they realize the nerd saw them getting beaten. The nerd who's named Jiho is forced to steal a charger, and we see a stare down between two Giga Chads. Jiho runs off with a charger, trips, and Daniel goes to help him up, filling Jiho with regret. Realizing that they have to silence them both, they decide the best way to silence them is by making them fight. Little do these guys know the horrendous mistake they made. They made these two men in their primes meet each other. Watch, next episode, it's gonna be an absolute wrap. To ensure a fight occurs, they tell Jiho that they won't pick on him anymore if he beats Daniel. Jiho wastes no time fighting Daniel, sending a barrage of devastating hits. Eventually, this guy named Vasco intervenes, telling the bully group that they're terrible people. After scaring off the bully group, he makes sure Daniel and Jiho are okay, and apparently he's a guy that protects the weak from bullies. Back at school, Jiho is still being forced to serve the bullies, but Daniel is here to ensure that Jiho has a glow up. He immediately tries to befriend Jiho, much to everyone's confusion. These guys walk in to check out Daniel, and they get in a fight with Zack and yeah, whatever, let's get back to Daniel. Vasco sees Daniel in his chad body and assumes that Daniel is bullying Jiho. He tries scaring Daniel with a grip, but Daniel ain't no punk! <laughs> Everyone is incredibly shocked at the fact that Daniel can tank Vasco's grip and they think a fight is about to happen. However, Vasco's friend intervenes to ensure that doesn't happen and befriends Daniel. The bully group realizes that it's hopeless for them to beat Daniel, so they resort to befriending him. They tell Daniel to meet him at the sketchiest alley in existence, and a lot of people would avoid being friends with these guys. However, Daniel hasn't really had any friends, so he goes along with it. When he arrives there, he sees everyone there seems to be... well... How should I put this? They're absolute losers. Daniel doesn't really like it there, and feels out of place. That's right, Daniel. You don't need these people dragging you down. So end them! Annihilate them! Pump them full of lead! Alright, my faith in Webtoon has officially been restored. I really liked Lookism, I can't lie. From the emotion, the fight scenes, the art, it, it's all good. And I really like the fact that Daniel, instead of being cocky in his new body, he's just a complete chad. And the pacing in these episodes are top tier, something that I'd expect from a top Webtoon. Ahem! There's also plenty of social commentary on how our society is so shallow to treat people based on how they look. But it also reminds us that no matter what, there's always serenity somewhere. And, uh, I, I don't know, man. I'm, I'm not sure what else to say. Just read Look as a Man. It's really a genuinely good webtoon. Oh, wait, I almost forgot! Lookism, you earned this. Anyways, I think that's gonna wrap up this video. Thank you guys for watching this video in its entirety. If you guys like this video, then please like, share, subscribe, and hit the notification bell. Also, join the Discord server to receive 20 parking tickets. If you guys have any video ideas or any other webtoons I should read, then please leave it in the comments section below. And with that, I'll see you guys on the next video. Peace.